everyone. Today I wanted to do a quick review for you um, on the J-Cat Beauty uh, Wonder Lip Paints. Now, I saw these in my local Harman a couple of weeks ago, and at first when I saw the display, I was like, oh my gosh, why are there OCC lip tars at Harman? And then I went a little bit closer to the display, and I realized that it would, they were not lip tars. Oops, I just dropped one. Um, but I realized that they weren't lip tars. They were these uh, J-Cat Beauty Wonder lip paints. Um, and they have some really cool colors. I believe there's 18 um, shades in the collection. I'm not positive. I will uh, write down below uh, how many are in the collection uh, if I'm wrong about that um, but there are quite a few and the whole collection is at Harman I don't know if it's a permanent thing I don't know if all Harman stores are gonna carry it but um, mine is carrying it right now which is amazing um, so I went ahead and picked up a few shades when I first saw them I picked up four or five the first time um, and I got them home and I started playing with them and I just fell so in love with them so I went back to the store the next week and bought some more of them and honestly I really want to buy more still I think these are absolutely fantastic the shades I have now are mostly brighter shades and um, some unique kind of colors I say unique but that's not really the right word but like some blues and some greens and stuff um, so they're really, really good products. So those are the mostly the colors that I picked up just because I wanted to see how the um, brighter ones uh, worked before I went and picked up some more neutrally colors because a lot of times like in a line the neutrally colors are really nice and then when you get to the brighter more fun colors they don't perform as well but these are amazing all of them are amazing so like I said there are quite a few shades to choose from um, my one complaint I guess as far as um, color selection goes is a lot of them look quite different in the tube um, than on your lips I mean the color in the tube is a pretty good indication and like for um, this blue here this is the color that it actually is um, but then for a color kind of like let's see this one, this looks totally different on the lips, and I have a blog review um, on these that's either up now or going up soon, and if it's up now, I will leave a link down below to that, and if it's not up, then I will um, leave a link to my blog, and you can kind of check back there, because um, it's coming soon, and I'll have photos of all of these on my lips, so you can kind of see... Um, that they look a little bit different in the tube versus on the lips. That's my one complaint and that's kind of how I found it difficult to choose shades when I was actually in the store um, because I was looking at them and not a lot of them looked super amazing in the tube but then I got them home and I tried it on and I was like wow this is a gorgeous color nothing like what it looks like in the tube. Um, maybe that's just my own perception of how these look. That's just the experience that I've had with them. Um, so I don't know. Uh, keep that in mind and I would definitely look up swatches. So a little goes a really long way and you don't have to worry about running out of these. They're all really, really pigmented with the exception of this gold color. And golds I think generally aren't going to be super, super pigmented. At least I haven't found one that's super, super pigmented. It is pigmented and it definitely looks like you have gold lips, um, but it just has a touch of sheerness to it because of the shimmer and the pearl in there that makes up that gold metallic finish. Um, but that's the only one that I've had that with and it's totally understandable because of the nature of the color. I find that these are really long wearing, um, kind of like an OCC lip tar and some of the darker colors and more vibrant colors do leave a stain behind which is actually really nice. I like that. Um, and so I'm happy with the staying power of them because you know when you have a product that's in um, a tube like this and you need to use a brush to apply it, um, it can be kind of a hassle to do touch-ups. You can't just like throw it in your purse and go to the bathroom and you know put on a lipstick like uh, you would with a regular lipstick. So that's the one drawback to these kinds of products in general. Um, so I really appreciate when one of these is a long wearing type of formula because I think it just makes it worth it um, to have something like this, you know what I mean? Um, versus having something that you're really going to have to babysit throughout the day. So those are my thoughts on the staying power of it. Um, the texture of these is really nice, very similar to an OCC lip tar. Really smooth but uh, thin. They're not like a thick formula. Um, they're 
um, they have the same minty kind of feel and smell to them as the OCC Lip Tars. It's almost identical. Um, and uh, the one thing about the formula that uh, you do have to keep in mind, and OCC Lip Tars are definitely the same this way, only the Wonder Lip Paints do this a little bit more, is that they do separate um, rather easily. I don't know if you can tell... Um, at the bottom of this has started to separate a little bit so just shake these up really really well before you use them or else you're not going to get uh, good pigmentation because that thinner like kind of liquid is going to come out um, more so than the actual pigment itself. I've had that problem with OCC lip tars in the past so I wasn't surprised when I experienced it with these but I don't really mind that so much um, and these are such an amazing value for the price. These online on JCap Beauty's website, they are $4.99, but in stores, in Harmon stores at least, these are $4.49. So less than $5 each. So, so amazing. In fact, I just did a top five under five, uh, under five dollars beauty products, and I really should have mentioned these, um, these were definitely in the running, but it was really hard for me to stick to five in that video. But, um, I mean, these are just simply amazing. I absolutely love them, and I think you get a great value. Versus with an OCC lip tar, you're, you're paying $18 for a lip tar, which is a lot of money. Um, especially when it's something that you're probably not going to use up because there's so much of it and you don't really need that much. Um, it can be kind of a waste, um, which is why I like when OCC does the mini lip tar sets that they've been doing the past couple of years because I find those, those are such a better value. Um, but for these, I mean, four fifty a pop, so worth it. Um, I absolutely love them, and I think that they're worth way more than that, so I'm glad that they are budget-friendly. Um, it's just wonderful because they are such great quality products. Um, and yeah, I love these. I highly, highly recommend them. Um, I think they're absolutely beautiful. Um, and I mean, they're I'm not going to swatch all of these live in the video with you, but I'll just show you the shades that I have. Um, this is Duchess with Muchness, and they're all Alice in Wonderland themed uh, names. Um, so that's this. It's like a gold color. And then um, Wonderland, which is a blue. Um... And then, what is this? This is Blabberwocky, which is um, a really nice, like, neutral, pinky terracotta color, almost. And then I have Heartadocious, which I'm wearing today, um, and I have just a lip gloss on top of it, but that's what that looks like. And then I have this beautiful mint color. Oh my god, like, look at this color. I really, really like this one. This is just, like, so gorgeous and it's really really pigmented especially for a mint because I find that um, mint type colors uh, tend to be a little bit either chalky and pigmented or not that pigmented um, and comfortable but this is totally comfortable to wear not chalky at all and it is really pigmented so I really really like this one if you're looking for a mint color. Um, next I have Mad Splatter. This is a really cool shade. I want to compare it to um, Urban Decay's Jilted Lipstick because it has a similar vibe, but I don't think that they're dupes. Um, I'll do some research into that, and if I find that they're close at all, I will do a blog post about it, so keep an eye out for that. But it's kind of like a deep, berry, um, vampy almost type color with um, that like duochrome shimmer that gives it a little bit of purple and a little bit of blue to it. Um, it's really really cool. Definitely check out the blog post swatch of that one. Next up we have Much Musher which is this gore gorgeous gorgeous like electric coral type peach color almost like an electric peach type color it's really really pretty um and then i have caterpillar smoke which is this gorgeous like bubblegum pink color um and then queen of hearts which is this gorgeous like vampy burgundy shade um this maybe is similar to black dahlia by occ i'll do a comparison post on my blog um if i find that they're similar when i actually test that out but um similar concept at least it almost looks black in the tube but when you put it on your lips it's like this gorgeous rich vampy burgundy color these are the two purples in the line i could not resist buying them this cooler tone one is uh chest desire cat cheshire cat type name um 
and it's like a cool toned purple and then this is always late rabbit and it's a warm toned purple they look really similar in the tube um, but they're really not on the lips and I had a feeling that would be the case when I bought them which is why I actually bought both of these the first time that I um, made a purchase of these and yeah they're definitely different I don't own either of actually okay let me say I've wanted hoochie lip tar forever from OCC, but I just never got around to buying it. I think it's really the price tag that gets me. Um, and then when Roller Girl came out with the Plastic Passion Collection, I think, um, I really, really wanted that one too, and I was actually about to buy them. They were on my Sephora Loves list like the week before I saw these in store, um, and I was gonna buy both of them. But then I saw these and I'm thinking, this might be the cool tone one, might be a Roller Girl dupe, and this might be a Hoochie dupe. Again, I don't know. Um, because I don't own those two, but I've always wanted those two and I'm not going to buy them now because I do have these. I think it would be pointless um, because I think it gives off the same vibe. So um, if I do end up buying Hoochie, which I probably won't, I'll do a blog post comparison, but I, I again, I probably won't buy it because I think that this gives off the same effect. Um, and um, yeah, that's it for my review. I really, really like these. I think they're excellent products. And I would highly recommend checking them out. If you can't find them in Harmon stores, go to JCat Beauty's website. I'll try to leave a link down below, or you can just Google JCat Beauty. Um, and you can get them there online. Um, I really, really highly recommend them, especially if you love lip tars. Um, I can't wait to play with these even more. I can't wait to start mixing them, which is something that I haven't done yet, but I'm excited to do because like the OCC lip tar, these are meant to be mixed. Um, so yeah, that's my review on the JCat Beauty Wonder Lip Paints. Again, I'll leave my blog post review down below, um, as well as links to all of my social media and my blog and everything like that. Um, so uh, check me out all of those places, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and I will see you guys next time if you like this video please take a second to subscribe and give it a thumbs up all right thank you so much for watching bye